I bought some of Amazon's illegal golf balls. First things first, the actual box and the name, Bandit Golf, and it's wanted so it's made out like a criminal poster because they are illegal. They just look like they're a comedy gift box, but they've got some bold claims. It's saying with a driver swing speed of 100 to 110, it'll go 20 yards or more further. 110 miles per hour up, I'm gonna see 30 yards longer. The reason why they're illegal is because they're 1.65 inches in diameter. The legal limit is 1.68, so they are actually a little bit smaller, so they're gonna cut through the air quicker and theoretically go a little bit longer. They look dodgy they look like something out of a 70s commercial that's what they look like but we're going to put them to the test i'm going to have a little putt with them first and then i'm going to take them out on the golf course have a little play before i get any numbers on them and then i'm going to put them to the test and see if the bandit golf ball the amazon illegal golf ball is actually longer just just look at it what is that box right 50 pounds they cost me as well 50 pounds to get them from america reward illegally long distance wowzers let's get stuck into it i'm going to have a little put around the green and just see what they are like i love how it's bandit 66 as if it's something from the devil it is so strange it's only slightly smaller but you can actually tell when you look at them and you've looked at a lot of golf balls that they actually are smaller so odd but let's have a little go sound very very clicky to start off with is my initial feeling go on then do it yes technically if it's a smaller ball it makes the hole bigger Ooh. can still miss with it though can still miss with it folks I found a, a flaw with the uh, the ball. Doesn't fit my uh, even roll pickup system. I've actually got to bend down physically and pick it up, terrible. So I've had an initial put there, takeaway from them. Obviously they look a little bit smaller, they feel quite, um, quite tinny and quite hard. So I'm gonna head out on the golf course now. I'm gonna have a little chip and put around the green. I'm gonna hit some different shots, play in a couple of holes. Then I'm gonna put them to the test and see if they actually are going further than a legal golf ball. We're on the par four first at Dundonald Lynx. 420 yards, there's a bunker at 265 off this tee. So theoretically I carry it 285 normally, round about the 290. So with this ball going longer, 320, it shouldn't even be an issue for me i should only really have a flick onto the green if this is uh, gonna work this bandit golf ball so let's hit a few off here let's get a few different feels for it i'll tell you what that does look longer it's uh straight down the middle look like it cleared the uh, bunker by quite a way could they be it felt as well, I was expecting to feel a bit more of a tinnier, tinnier feel off the driver, but it wasn't too bad, that one. Oh, that's left. You can still hit him in the rubbish though. Yeah, that one wasn't good. Right, one more. That's down the fairway again. That looks huge. Right, let's get down there, see how far they've gone. Right, so we've got down to the uh, fairway. One's caught the bunker here. This bunker's 315 yards off the tee. The other ball, if you look down there, is another 30 down there. And I've literally only got about 50, 60 up to the green. So looks like they could be going a little further. We're going to hit some wedge shots, some iron shots, and then let's just get a bit of feel for it. This is where I think you're, for the distance aspect of the golf ball, you lose the feel aspect of the golf ball. But... I think if you're buying these golf balls, it's all for distance anyway. But let's let's see what they feel like. That stop. That looks like it's actually got a little bit of spin on it as well there, and it didn't feel as harsh as I thought it would do after that putting experience. I thought they were going to be a lot more tinnier. But let's have a little hit again. 
Hmm, interesting. I thought I was going to get a real harsh feeling off those wedges, but not as harsh as I thought. Wow. That wasn't even a good drive. This hole's 388 and it's near the green that I think. Oh wow. Close. Let's hit a few uh, long guy and see if these launch as high as a driver. I'm expecting this to go some way as well. Ooh, that hit the road. Don't even scratch when they hit a path that that's solid. Into wind and that still seems to go. They definitely feel like they're going longer because it's into the wind there and that's 190 and a bit six iron and got it nearly back there. They do sound just so clicky and tinny, it's mad, but they don't feel it. Hmm. Not bad, not bad. Right, five iron, 210 into the wind. I almost feel like this is too much club. <laughs> So having had about four holes out on the golf course now, my initial thoughts, um, after the putting test, I thought the balls were gonna feel very harsh off the club face and sound really sort of tinny and clicky as where well. They do sound a little bit when you're banging them like that, but actually, actually in swing and hitting them, they felt a lot better, just felt a tiny bit firm. Flight-wise, it was noticeable that they sort of feel that they're cutting through the air a lot quicker. And then distance-wise, which obviously these balls are aimed at, they do seem to be going longer. The drives that I hit, I've hit them well past where any point I've hit them before on these golf course. And down at like 330, 340 drives, roughly they were looking like. So be interesting to see what the carry number is. So overall, they do seem to be visually flying longer. They're not as harsh feeling as I would do, but let's put them to the test now. We're gonna put five bandits against five Pro Vs and see who comes out with the longer carry distance. So test time, Pro V1 first, let's go. That's a great start. Two eight five carry. Four shots and they've all been within one yard of each other. Fifth and final Pro V. That was a big one. 290 carry. Right, it's time for the bandit. Let's see if we can back up that 20 to 30 yard claim. That looks to cut off quicker. Smash factor's better. Oh, interesting. That was actually a worse strike as well. That's got to be long. That looks huge. It's in the air for forever. So smash factor on that last one of 1.51, that's actually illegal, like the ball says, because the ball can only come off at 1.50 maximum speed. So it's doing as it says. Definitely pops up in the air higher, that's one thing for sure. So I've hit 10 shots, five Pro Vs, five Bandit golf balls, and is it giving me more distance? Yes, it is giving me more distance. It's only giving me four yards more carry though. So the 20 to 30 yards that they are saying that I'm gonna see, I wasn't quite seeing it. I saw five miles per hour more in ball speed because it's coming off that face faster. Um, but 50 pounds has cost me to only see four yards difference. It's not worth it. And will people actually want to play an illegal golf ball? Probably not. If you're playing in competitions, obviously you can't lose, use them. So I think with the Bandit golf balls, what it's got a little bit, it over promises and it under delivers. Not a bad golf ball to be fair overall, but illegal for that little amount of gain, probably not worth them. But an interesting one to try and 
please, please just do something with the box. We're, it's not 1970, come on. Right, Bandit Golf Ball, the illegal golf ball, four yards more. Guys, thanks for watching. Check out one of the other videos I did on an illegal golf club, just here.